Welcome back to our seven night Western Mediterranean cruise vlogs. My name is Antoinette and at Frolic and Courage, we like to plan well, have fun and travel the world. Last week, we explored Marseille, France and before that, the Dragon Caves of Palma de Mallorca. This week, we're excited to take you to Italy, specifically Florence, Pisa, Naples, Rome, Pompeii and Capri. We love to travel the world. So join us in our adventure to each port and on our cruise ship, Royal Caribbean's Wonder of the Seas. What do you think so far? It's awesome. How's it going? Yeah. It's a beautifully sunny day. This is Hans' first time in Firenze. Oh, I'm loving it. The buildings are amazing. Kept up well. Mind blowing how, how well they take care of the buildings here. The preservation efforts are amazing. It's important to keep all of this alive and well because it's such a critical point in history. You don't want to forget. And the intensity of some of the statues like, is unreal. Like, look at this. Been here since 1299. It's in the headquarters of Florence's political power, and then on the other side, you saw the religious side. This is the political side. This is the city hall with the mayor of Florence. Works. Brown statue of the man holding Medusa's head is an original. Wow. So after a nice walk around Florence, we are now going to go to lunch. As part of our excursion, the cruise line booked a private room at Rubaconte Ristorante and Pizzeria, where we had homemade pasta and it was so good. We got to meet travelers from all over the world and connect over a delicious meal. We had a pasta with pesto and one with a meat sauce that was absolutely delicious, like a bolognese. Hey, hon, it's your first taste of uh, Italian pasta. What do you think? It was really good. Very delicious. Yeah, this is the real thing over here. Yeah, yeah. Which one did you like more, the pesto or the bolognese sauce? They were both good, but I would probably go with the meat. Which one's your favorite? I like them both a lot. Amazing, and we just got a handful of biscotti di prato, which was a really good uh, biscuits that we just had with our dessert wine. Well, Machiavelli, Michelangelo, and Galileo are buried in this in Santa Croce Cathedral, and the tour continues. We'll have a little bit of free time later, so let me get out of the street. You guys may remember this area from my first time in Italy vlogs where my sister and I got lost. Um, we are no longer lost. We are with the crowd that we're supposed to be with. Ha! We win this time.
Hi, do you see anything else you like, hun? I like this reversible belt. How is that reversible? I just turn it around. I did, I pull up. It's like that. Oh, wow. So ooh, black on one side and then brown on the other. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. I just do uh, my... It's got the... Uh, made in Italy. <laughs> This is the leather shop here, Old Florence Leather Factory in Piazza di Santa Croce. On the way to Pisa, there's a ton of food and souvenir shops to get through. It's almost like a flea market or a swap meet, if you know what a swap meet is. Once you go through the arches, you immediately enter the complex where you see the Leaning Tower. It's been here since 1064. We have the baptistry and the church all together. So as soon as you enter through those gates and those three arches, there is this massive, massive tower here. Then you run into, bam, the first, the first beautiful structure. And then you walk all along this path, you walk along this very uneven path until you see to your right a place where you can buy tickets. Although the line doesn't look very long. It's maybe about, uh, what time is it, hun? It's uh, 4.56. Yeah, it's about 5 o'clock. Um, so the crowds are kind of minimal, but the whole area is very well spaced out. But yeah, this is a gorgeous area. It's a very small town. It's smaller than Florence, our guide says. But as I'm walking backwards, you can see the leading tower behind me. It was actually built on soft ground, and they have since stabilized it. So there's no need to fear about whether it's going to tip over or not. It is solid, but if you want to go inside, the different grassy areas here so actually to the complexes that's an additional fee otherwise you can just walk through like I am doing right now uh, I don't recommend walking backwards like I am but yeah just walk here it's pretty cool to see I mean the structures and the architecture of it all is amazing y'all know I love art and design and architecture and food so this makes me very very happy you can even go up to the top of the tower if you wanted to. Ooh, aren't they bold? I would go too if you had the time, but can you see the people at the very top of the tower? Yeah, they are bold, but I would totally do it too if I had more time. For dinner, we decided to go to Wonderland, a specialty dining experience on Royal Caribbean's Wonder of the Seas. It was very unique to say the least, and I don't want to spoil anything, so stay tuned when I do a full specialty dining review. Good morning. Today we are in Rome. This is my third time in Rome. Cannot wait to go back and explore and let Hun see the delights of the Eternal City. We're going to have breakfast at the... Solarium Bistro this morning. So let's just get something to eat and head about our business. It's to be the same stuff as the Windjammer, but nicer. Let's see. Solarium Bistro is an adults only dining buffet on board, which was great seeing as we needed peace and quiet before this hectic day ahead. It really is nice. And big. Okay. This breakfast is avocado toast on a raisin bread with the famous vegetable omelette, two pork sausage links. I absolutely love these hash browns and a typical fruit platter, but today we have a little bit of strawberry yogurt to go with it. Mm -mm -mm. And Babe's got his usual full platter over this here. Almond pancakes. This is what? Almond pancakes. Almond pancakes. Yeah, I was like, let's yeah. give it a shot, see what it's like. So what'd you think of it? It's, it's different, you know, it's not bad, but when I get it again, probably not. Outside the Solarium Cafe, there's this really interesting ship called the Tyrrhenia. I can't even pronounce that, but it's totally Batman themed. They went all out. But to get to the city center of Rome from Civitavecchia off the cruise ship, 
you've got to first leave the ship and then go into the port of Rome. So what we're attempting to do is take a shuttle bus to Civitavecchia port and then get on the Rome Express train or, or the Civitavecchia Express train to the city. To, from there, take the metro to get around because guess what? We already know how to get around Rome on a budget, don't we, babe? So we are actually going to take the scooters, the devil scooters, all the way to where we need to be. All right. It's the fastest way, but let's get on it. This is the underground of the Colosseum. Oh my gosh, wow. Wow. Make a photo as well as I'm talking to you. Even though I had been to the Colosseum before, this was an entirely new experience. We got to see the lifts where the gladiators and animals were raised to the arena stage. The underground section had so many different tunnels and we learned all about how the tunnels were used, how animals and humans were transported in between, and how the whole production worked behind the scenes. It was spectacular and a once in a lifetime bucket list experience. So if you have the chance during a Mediterranean cruise or just a visit to Rome, I highly recommend going on an underground tour and to get tickets early because they sell out quickly. So they kept the animals in tight quarters with different species together and starved them in order to make them vicious for the crowds to fight. Yikes! Brutal! Wow! So we just came from the underground and now we are... Whew. You think we're on the arena stage now? And so we officially made it to the arena floor. This is magnificent. I can't imagine what it would be like to be on this stage in front of all these people. I mean, I watched The Gladiator with Russell Crowe. It was a good movie. But to actually live this is a whole, a whole different kettle of fish. Wow. Here we have it inside Terramini. We've got an ATM here and all kinds of ticket stops. It's a huge, huge train station, so look alive. Tickets are right here. We have to find platform 28. Do you run to the regional train? Let's go. We need to get to number 28, which is all the way at the end, so it's going to be a mad dash. We're gonna make it, but I'm gonna run because if not, we're gonna get stuck here or pay a hefty fee. 28! Not okay. Okay, y'all. <laughs> we made it, so... Yeah, that was a whole process to get here. This is the 527 train, and it takes about an hour and maybe 15 minutes to get back, so don't be late. The train actually runs on time, so forget what people have said about, you know, hey, maybe they just... Yeah, just forget what anyone says about, you know, running late. This sucker ran right on time and you just saw our 200 meter dash. It literally said on the directions, you know, to track 28, 200 meters. Babe was like using those things. You see those suckers right there? Those are runner's legs. So we were like hauling. On the run. On the run. Like sweat dripping down my back. Like. <laughs> Like he's like he can tell he's exhausted. Like we sprinted and we were like the second to last people on the train. Like had we been but ten seconds too late, we would have missed it and we could have potentially missed our entire cruise. That felt like going an amazing back. race today. I know it did. It felt like an amazing we race. Rode this, uh, uh, electric scooter and then we also rode the electric bike and then my uh, electric bike. I didn't realize that. Um, oh yeah. 
it wasn't working so I, I just kept writing and I was doing it manual and once we got up to the hill I was like I, I can't take it anymore yeah and, and then, we uh, had no idea this whole time after going to the Coliseum Underground which I recommend although I think our tour was a little bit suspect we still made it underground and still had a pretty decent time down there and still learned a lot but yeah I still had a good time yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely had a good time it's it better to to me, I think it's better to see it in person, to see the, the Coliseum. It's not the same when you see it on TV because uh, Rome is a place where you, you need to see it for at least like a week. We just spent one day and I didn't get enough to see it. So, I mean, so if you do decide to come to Italy, make sure you plan it out. Yeah, for sure. If you're going to come on a cruise, and we'll talk about this in our What You Need to Know Before Going on a Mediterranean Cruise, but in short, it's like a simple platter of things, right? You've got your full main course meal that you can sit there all day long and have your appetizers and your drinks and your entrees and your sides and your desserts and like, you know, either spend a whole day there, which is what a good week in Rome will do. Or you can look at the starters and get that sampler platter, you know, where you get like the, as they usually have on it, like, you usually have like the, the, the buffalo wings and like the mozzarella sticks and like one other thing, you just get a little taste of them. That's what a cruise is like, that's what a Mediterranean cruise it's is a like. a good way of looking at it. Yeah, so stopping in Rome for just like eight to ten hours, just set your expectations. You're not seeing everything. Yeah. Not unless you get on a big bus. Um, and then just drive by it but if you really want to take the time to go in and take the guy to tours and learn you really need to spend a good couple of days here I think if you do decide you wanted to go see the Coliseum make sure you bring like a water bottle because you could like fill it up your container because it was like super hot yeah it was very very hot we are like when I say sweat Sweat is everywhere, y'all. Yeah, it was like amazing race today. So by the time by the time we figured out what we wanted to do and then got along doing it, it was like 10 a.m. Now it is like 5:33 p.m. 6:33. Yeah, it is 6:33. We need to be back in the cruise ship for like 7:15, I think they said. I think so. Mm, they closed port at like 7:15, so we <laughs> we are hustling back to make that. Hopefully we'll be good there yeah. overall it was like amazing race we saw as much as we possibly could when we possibly could and barely made it we yeah. still have a little ways to go we still have to jump on the bus and hopefully it'll take us to our cruise ship and I'm praying that it doesn't leave that we'll see you in a moment we made it This guy was like cutting across traffic, cutting off buses, driving in different lanes. Like, it was crazy. So anyways, so as this guy was like cutting off buses, driving in the opposite lanes, crazy. cutting across three lanes of traffic, like with, within inches of the next car. At one point, we hit a bump, he was going we, so fast. We caught air, like nobody had their seatbelts out. We just went, boom, and like, like it was like up and then down and oh it was wild but we made it we're back on the ship and it's time to get something to eat for tonight's meal well i i said shrimp cocktail <laughs> with cocktail sauce on the side of course here we go pork chop the plate is piping hot with a little vegetables broccoli and potatoes and a delightful glaze we ate our bellies full now it's time to go check out the water show if we could find a seat because things here book up you know so let's go and make this happen. Be sure to get here early because this place is absolutely packed. 
but that's because I hear it is an amazing show. So we will see. And there's different ways to reach a mountain. You can take a shortcut and go to the mountain. We are in Bikini. And Bikini is known for... It's Bikini Beach, which is right here. You can rent this little island out if you want to. But yeah, it's a little island in the middle of the sea. <laughs> Reminds me of Spongebob. And that's how it is for distance. Little teeny island. Quick stuff in the Amalfi Coast. What you got, Mom? What's I'm looking for some uh, awesome kind of cake here. I don't know what to pick it. Uh, is it good? Let's grab a little piece. Oh, it's moist. That's good. That's good. Little Strong cake. lemon, yeah. yeah. And uh, you see where we are in Positano. Because I'm out here, got a lot more of the vertical city. Soil. And you can so see why. So here's a few other towns. Positano is definitely the vertical city. And uh, Positano was not too popular at the times when the Grand Tour started. It uh, was uh, a lot more popular after World War II. The ride along the Amalfi Coast was long and a bit treacherous given the steep cliffs, but we were excited once we reached land so we can explore Porta della Marina and all the other things that Capri had to offer, including a really fun boat tour. Transportation was included with the excursion, but we had to get food on our own, which was perfectly fine because we got to taste some of the local pizza along the way. Gorgeous. So it's a crowded area, for sure. Lots to see, lots to do. Now it's time for a boat ride through Capri. How awesome is this? And as you can see, I got yet another gelato. This is fragola, which is strawberry. Pretty good. No complaints. Casa de Chai, we have the original plaster on the outside and the inside. This was a politician's home. And look at the inside. We had a quick lunch, then our tour guide took us on a small group tour all throughout Pompeii. We had been to Pompeii before, a couple years ago if you've seen my last Italy vlogs, but Pompeii is so huge, we went to entirely new places. Yes, Pompeii is an entire city, so even though we had gone on a tour before, we were taken to all new spots, learning all new things about the people, the technology, the culture, the history, the food, and the well-being of the citizens, and their fate at Pompeii. 
Our tour of Pompeii also included a tour of the um, establishments of the evening, which seemed a little uh, uncomfortable. But back in the day, they had a full menu pictured on the wall so you knew what uh, services you were getting. Very interesting. Mount Vesuvius from Pompeii. And now. It is our last day on Wonder of the Seas, so we're at sea. We have really had a good time so far, but uh, this view will not get old. I mean, look at that. Can you guys hear that? Can you guys hear, like, the sound of the waves? Hopefully you can. little windy out here but I love just looking at the ripple of the sea it's so calming okay time to get something to eat brunch this morning at Park Cafe so I was gonna get a hot dog before personal training but instead I decided to go by Park Cafe and grab a little bit of a take on a Caesar salad it's a custom salad bar so I got a Caesar salad, but with little baby shrimps, cucumber, and tomato on the inside. With Caesar dressing, croutons, Parmesan cheese. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. And then I decided to go back and get a Kamelwek roast beef sandwich with horseradish mayo. Yummy. You know, why not? Why not? Milos kicked our butt today in the gym. Uh, just getting dressed, getting ready to go to the spa. We are trying a 100 minute couples bamboo massage to massage all the, the kinks. All, all the nooks and crannies. Yeah. <laughs> all the kinks and jiggles. We've been walking on average like four to five miles per day. Just in walking and sightseeing, which is a lot more than what I usually do, tell you that much. And then stuff in our faces. And then stuff in our faces, and then walking some more. And then, then repeat it all over again. And then repeat it all over again, says Hun. Yeah. And now it's time to go and get a massage. You've been waiting for this for a long time. So, cannot wait. And by the way, I put all my clothes in laundry the other night. Uh, so we decided to take advantage of the fill the bag up with laundry for like 35 bucks and they wash and fold and return everything in 48 hours so we're gonna get our laundry back tonight but but I forgot to take out my gym clothes I don't know if I was like subconsciously not wanting to go but I put in all of my gym stuff in the bag so I barely had anything so I went to go to the store and buy this wonder of the seas tank and these sweatpants which are really soft and really comfortable you know, I'm liking the quality of the Royal Caribbean clothing. I usually don't buy clothing at all, but um, it works out today. And uh, Hun is getting ready to leave me, so let's go check out the Vitality Spa. Stringed instrument playing. It's nice. You guys have already been here, right? We took a whole tour of the spa earlier, so you all pretty much know the way.
after a massage, babe, what would you give it? I'll give it a nine. Hey, I give that a straight nine and a half. That was amazing. Um, as per usual, I am very tense, so my legs needed a lot of extra kneading, and I didn't know how the bamboo was going to work out, the whole bamboo massage situation. Um, but it worked out nicely, so the bamboo was actually, so of course they greased you all up, and they had the bamboo in like a crock pot essentially and so when it came and like hit your skin it was warm like nobody was like beating you with it right mm -hmm. nobody here got a whooping um but it was just like gently kneading against your muscles and i needed a lot of kneading so it was really <laughs> as i did you're special hey so are you we're special <laughs> together it was just nice to have like that extra kind of like hard pressure just you know I like it when the masseuse just gets in there because I need a lot of work I thought it was a great massage the only thing I wish could have been better but it was way beyond their control so I do not fault them at all for it the spa on Wonder of the Seas is towards the front of the boat and today the sea's a little choppy so you heard like a lot of like crashes and booming and like equipment moving, it almost sounded, I was telling Hannah earlier, it sounded like, I don't know, we were on Transformers or something. You heard like a lot of, a lot of machinery and then boom. And I was like, are we watching Transformers right now? Are they like, are like the Autobots and the Decepticons like fighting at the moment? Cause it sounded like it. And it kind of felt like it too. And it kind of wave, we kind of wave back mm -hmm. and forth a little bit, but that's not so bad. And then the second thing I would say that I don't fault them for this at all, but the rooms could have been a little bit more sound insulated because I think there was some type of, I don't know, whirlpool or something next to us. And the people in there were like talking. The woman was like, this water is piping hot. And I'm like, well, girl, I hear everything you're saying. And our masseuse did go over and say, hey, shh, it's a spa, like, please zip it. But you could tell the rooms weren't very well insulated. So I think if they were to move the spa towards the center of the ship and then insulate or soundproof the rooms a little better, I think that would probably take it up to a 10. But our masseuses were phenomenal like absolutely phenomenal they kind of felt where the knots were they applied varying levels of pressure in certain places they were on it on it babe yep they were definitely on it yeah anything else you have to say with the spot babe no it was good so i really need to take better care of myself in the end i need to soak my bones in a hot bath and relax minutes. for at least 20 minutes yeah. and relax so you got dinner babe while i'm doing that you got dinner Get him camera? Is no. that a yes? <laughs> yes. He means yes. So it's our last day at sea, so we're just gonna um walk around, chill around, but y'all have to see these waves. They yeah. are a lot bigger now. Yeah. And y'all I'm not gonna get too close because this thing is like ripping and roaring. Can you guys see these waves like forming? It is no joke. We never really sat out here, but it is a little chilly today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we never really did, but I just liked having the window view. And it was really nice this morning when I just kind of opened the door and we just listened to the sound of the ocean. Uh -huh. That was really nice. Yeah, so maybe we'll, we'll chill out here and then go grab some hot dogs. <laughs> it's a little chilly out here. Okay, maybe we'll just go ahead and grab the hot dogs then. <laughs> All right, let's go. So before we head off to go get hot dogs, look what came in. It's our laundry. Let's take a look. So we kind of had a lot, and again, I'm going to talk about this on my breakdown of what you need to know before a Mediterranean cruise, but uh, long story short, it's hot. Essential if you want to keep things clean and keep things uh, fresh, you know, no funky draws here. Matter of fact, here's a pair of Kevin's draws. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, you got jokes. Yeah, you should see this face. He's like, you really just show that on Kevin? Kevin's shorts. 
Ooh. They smell fresh and look pretty good, right, babe? Yep, look clean. Yeah, it looks clean. It looks clean to me. So I'm not going to take everything out of the bags because they are freshly pressed. And it's all organized in here too. And it's, ooh, it's still nice and warm. Ooh, I love the smell of like warm laundry. But I'll put this on top of here. Now, let's go get those hot dogs. Let's see what we have. We can have our way, we can have our bun, our dog, top it off with sidekicks. Okay, so I picked up a classic hot dog with grilled onions and the bratwurst, which is a veal and pork, I believe, with sauerkraut. Uh, babe, what do you put on a sauerkraut hot dog? Seeing as you've spent some time growing up in Germany, what? I'll put, I'll put ketchup. You just put ketchup on the, the I'll, I'll bratwurst? I'll put ketchup on the, on the sauerkraut. Uh -huh. You need to have a little bit of... It's been a while since I've had sour. It's been a while since I've had sauerkraut. Mm -hmm. you, I would put ketchup on there. Just ketchup? You could probably do mustard. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, I'd probably put ketchup on that, and then your preference, you could do ketchup or mustard. You know? Yeah. I have the original down pack, but it's just the the bratwurst. Haven't had that. Did you get him? I just got a classic hot dog, and then I got a bratwurst, and then I got a coleslaw. Looks pretty good. Yeah. I needed to cut back. I needed to cut back from the potatoes. Yeah, you were dubbed potato king by my family on this trip. <laughs> I've been blowing it up. Yeah, exactly. Um, and I picked up an extra. I picked up a side of potato salad. So here's what I have. Let's give it a try. I'm gonna try the bratwurst first. Um, spread it out a little bit. Bratwurst with sauerkraut. This must be a really popular option. I see a lot of people getting the bratwurst with sauerkraut. So. The bratwurst is really juicy, and the sauerkraut was expecting to be a little bit sweet. It's not going to be sour, you know, sauerkraut, sour. Mm -hmm. It's pretty legit. As far as this potato salad, take a bite. It's not bad. It's pretty fresh. Not bad at all. It's not mom's, but it's good. These are good. Uh, good. We were so pleased with our experience on our first seven day Western Mediterranean cruise on Wonder of the Seas. We would definitely do it again. We ended the entire cruise at 150 Central Park, a specialty dining restaurant. We hope you enjoyed this cruise series. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe for when we drop our specialty dining reviews as well as overall tips. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.